Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making a video about how to pan for gold. And, of course, I'll be panning down and classifying uh, some random materials that I have just saved up from uh, time to time. Uh, I have uh, material from the Missouri River, uh, some iron ore and glamorite. That's pretty interesting stuff. We'll go ahead and crush it up and pan that out. Uh, I have a huge pan of dredge cons from the creek. Um, Sand Creek I always go to. Um, and then we will be taking the geodes and quartz and all my specimens and be washing them off and seeing if any gold is stuck to those. And as well as the big mat in the high banker dredge combo. Um, but yeah, we will uh, wash all these off and hopefully we see some good gold today.
This stuff right here, I found in an abandoned um, sand dredge company where they uh, dredge up all the sands to make concrete. It's pretty interesting stuff. There are just large concentrations of it right by their abandoned um, conveyor belt. That was right by the Missouri River in St. Charles. There's a whole bunch of different types of stuff in there. See quartz right there? And this was surrounding everything. And these spots were just this big and I just pried them off with a hammer. So we have everything that was left in the high banker, which probably contains all of our gold, especially this mat right here. Jim really wanted to see what was in here. So we will see today, Jim. Gotta get these screws out, but all right. High banker dredge combo, Missouri River, iron concentrations at the sand dredging place and then this was with the uh, big magnet I was throwing it out in the Missouri River off the bank so this is just everything that that, that drug back we'll do that and then this was the middle sluice box in the one video where we did not clean it and I saved it for a video to see if there was any gold in the middle sluice box because we did not find any in the top or the bottom. So I saved the middle. What we'll be using is a Arbor Manufacturing Classifier. It fits right in a five gallon bucket but I'm going to be using a Garrett Super Sluice, which you could find in my online store when it opens. But we will use this Garrett classifier, which I also have available for cleaning of the geodes and uh, the closed concretions. As you can see, yeah, that's, that's really ugly. I don't even know what that is in there. this guy you can hear something in there <laughs> it's like an eyeball this is pretty neat I'm not sure what that is if you guys know let me know in the comments we'll be cleaning these guys off but yeah Take a closer look at all those, and then also the hematite section had a bunch of hematite nuggets we're going to be cleaning off as well.
We also have the emergency cleanup vacuum because this could go anyway. It's a lot of water with Walmart's finest table. Man. Nice. Big dental bone mess. Do you hear him? High maintenance. The things you do for the right light. Uh. <laughs> oh my. The first thing I'm gonna do is drop a couple drops of uh, jet dry in here to break the water tension. These are new pans and there's oils and it'll create a film on top of the water and then your really flat gold, your small gold will actually float. So you don't want that happening. bubble we are going to begin with the mat that was in the hopper box for the dredge um, if you don't know what dredge I was using just hop on YouTube and you'll see what's up YouTube it's Kyle here I am back in the creek and what's that noise yeah that is a so we are not going to use a classifier with this I'm just going to put it in the pan and just probably tap on the back of it with a piece of metal or something because the gold will get caught in here and it will stay in here should get a power washer or a hose but oh well we'll see what we could do This is what I call the stubby.
on normal carpet I wouldn't do that but this carpet has some weird super superhero power and it does not let the gold up at all I would say it's clean Let's see what we got here I see a bunch of blondes but we'll go ahead and switch over to the painting station. That's what we're looking like. Let's go ahead and start. want to stratify all that material down you always want to make sure the blondes are on top if you see black sands it means you've gone too far You're supposed to stop at the black sands See, that's blondes. tap method you will lose nothing I'm sweep away the blinds do one two Starting to see some heavies peeking out in the corners. Every time you shake it, those blinds rise to the top. They rise to the top and the gold goes to the bottom with all the black sands and your heavies.
Okay. I needed better light anyways, and I wanted to zoom in. So we are just about at the heavies. This is probably a better view. That looks pretty good to me. Let's tap it on the side. All right, that's, that's all I'm doing. All right, let's go ahead and flip her back. See what we got going on. Holy smokes, guys. Do you see what I see? <laughs> oh man, Jim was totally right. Check that out, Jim. Look at all that. Wow. Wow. All right, let me clean this up a little bit so we can get a better look. Oh my goodness. See huge garnets. There's a little piece of gold sneaking out. It's staying up there. Ooh. I see some gold at the at the end right here. I can't believe it. That was that this is super cool guys because that day we only found two little specks in the sluice boxes and we did sluice one and three there is sluice two Oh yeah, look at that. That's a big pepper. Get all this down. Actually, that's why we have the soft sweep.
You use this thing for crevicing or your pain. Oh my gosh, what was that little piece right there? That's weird. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. It actually gives me some hope for that spot. all cleaned up about 30 colors in there and one big flake sweep them all up And there she goes. Dang it. <laughs> Very cool. I'm trying to get it all together. Check it out, guys. Jim, look at all that gold that was stuck in the mat. Holy smokes. That's what was stuck in the mat. Awesome. Guys, this is a perfect example of floating gold. I don't know if you can see that little speck right there making its way down. Little specks will get on the top of the water. So make sure you use jet dry. On to the next. Stubborn does not want to go.
This next material is from the top of the box where the dredge shot all the material I was dredging. So I'm just gonna do this and then we'll do the rest. We're gonna pour this in the Arbor Manufacturing Classifier, which again fits perfectly in a five gallon bucket. And all you want to do is just shake it. Simple as that. And this classifier is really good for uh, clay as well because it's metal and it just grinds it all up. I don't believe I have any clay in here. But Looks like a bunch of lights, but let's pan her down and see what's in it. When you're panning, you want to go at an angle, do like a swoop.
good right there. It's not a lot at all, but let's see. Wow, well, there's actually some gold in here. Right there, there's two pieces. And saw a couple more. I'll clean it up. Good way to get your material down. Especially with the fine flower gold. Spray bottle with uh, some Jedra in it. As you guys see right there, an outstanding amount of gold. There's about five huge gold nuggets right there. Seriously, I've never seen so much gold in my life. Okay, now that all the water has drained out of the pan, I can show you the other heavies. This is all hematite and magnetite, which is your black sands. purple in color some pink that's a very heavy stone while I was doing donuts just like that yeah while I was doing donuts in my office chair this guy fell into the painting station now I have a bunch of wet material and uh, yeah, that didn't go through the classifier. How are we going to fix that? Well, there's only one way to do this. Pretty much took all the water out of this thing. are powerful you could probably shoot water a good 40 feet if you really wanted to back to the gold okay here's the spilt material we're just gonna pan this down real fast Go. 
Oh, get out of here. No way. There's a huge flake. What? Hey. Sweet. Wow, I cannot believe that big flake was just from the spilt material. I hope it was from the spilt material and not from when I was panning out. I don't think it came from there. Or it might have been just one of those flat pieces that actually rode with the blonde sands. Sometimes you get those. This is next. This is the black V-mat that was in the high banker and all the material stuck under the mat it did not work like I thought it was going to let's classify it down Both sides. What a nice fit. I wonder if they did that on purpose. This is a brand new Garrett Super Sluice gold pan. I took a sandpaper and sanded the whole inside because when you get them, they come with uh, manufactured oil on it and uh, it'll cause your gold to float and you don't want that.
with the tap method, you could really tap it with anything, use anything. Flip it back. Wow. Look at that. More gold. Sweet. That is crazy. Can't wait to find out what's in here. There's about 15 pieces that I could count right here, but I'm sure there's a few more hidden in there. It is time for sluice number two, dredge cons. And what was ever on the bottom of my bucket <laughs> that day as well. Here's 
here's a small geode. I could feel that it's hollow. Go through all that later. See what it looks like. See some lead. Transferred over to the panning station. If you noticed, I haven't put any jet dry in there. It's because I see bubbles. I know there's enough in there. Let's flip it back. Oop, oh, and just saw one fly away on me. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Got one small piece right there by that piece of hematite. But man, if you look really close, well, the GoPro isn't going to do it for you, but there's flower gold out the Yahoo. Man, I wish I could catch all that.
Time for some more gravel. Here's a nice hematite nugget. One of them little baby quartz geodes. Oh, that's like a skull, kind of a weird animal skull. break all that stuff up you want to make sure it's liquefied so the stratification process can work correctly you can practice with lead BBs or lead weight for fishing
Almost out of the heavies. Let me take the zoom off. We are almost down to the heavies. There's a little bit of blonde on there still. We'll call that good. bunch of little hematite pellets. There is some lead. I see a ton of flower gold. Look at all that flower gold just moving with the black sands. Wow. There's a couple fly poops up there, but that's about it. I'll snuff those up and we'll move on. This is what's left of sluice number two. Is there any gold in it? Or did it all get caught in the first mat in the, in the hopper box? Close one. pretty neat it's almost a perfect sphere I was just on my phone talking to my buddy Ben. 
I gave him a gold pan the other day because he let me uh, prospect his creek with him. And he found gold today. So good job, dude. Now we just gotta find the honey hole. All right, this is the bottom of the bucket of Dredge Con's Sluice 2. Notice how I'm keeping that blonde sand on top the whole time. There's only a little bit of material here, so we'll just go ahead and flip it back. Just a ton of flower gold. Oh, I see a couple specks. Right. There's two of them. One and then two. But I could see. But okay, let's snuff them up. Okay, what's next on the list? We have Missouri River Black Sands.
No classification, it's just river sands. Here we go. I call this the golden toothbrush. Sand on the outside. Why? What? <laughs> you have got to be freaking kidding me. I swear, my life is like a movie. I cannot believe I did that. I did recover two little pieces of clay that I'm breaking up. Might as well just paint it right here.
nothing. All right, I'm gonna retrieve the gold for the second time today. All right, Missouri River, let's see what you produce. Can't wait for the river to go down. Flip it back. Let's see here. A lot of this material is from uh, the creek. I just sucked it up on accident. It's all mixed in together. It looks like your usual Missouri River black sands. A ton of it loaded with flower gold there's a little speck right there that's about it right oh, oh my goodness <laughs> oh almost got it Okay, this is the second to last thing I'm going to be doing today. This is some weird iron ore conglomerate that I found at an abandoned uh, sand factory, sand dredge company. They uh, sand dredge, uh, uh, dredge up sand at, on the Missouri River for concrete companies. And I found this all over the place, but there were these little pockets of this dark iron material. So I'm gonna crush it up as best as I can, and then we'll just pan it out. Super heavy. I'm not sure what this is. We'll have to find out once I buy a rock saw, but it'll do. That should be good enough for a test, you think? Oh, 
I'll just leave everything in the black pan as well. Save the larger pieces. Just want to see what's in that powder. Actually, I cannot pan with that anymore. I have to use the garret. There's nowhere to hold the pan. Which is good for showing off the gold. Much more comfortable. All right, let's flip it back. some black sands for sure I gotta get a better look at this with the light Actually, there's a piece of gold in there. It stayed right there. A bunch of flower gold with those black sands. Okay, I'm gonna clean all of these geodes that I found deep with the heavies. There's still mud on them. And then down here, I have some hematite. Sorry, it's a little dark in there. It's a dark rock. We will be using the golden toothbrush. The take everything and then some. And the soft sweep. There's a pan there. There's a couple more 
This one is a geode. You could hear stuff inside. It's a shaker. This one is a closed concretion. It was gonna be a geode, but all the minerals filled up the hollow space. And uh, you never know with these big ones, but you can usually tell by the weight. Uh, this one's pretty pretty heavy. But uh, it might have a little uh, hollow center. And you get some weird shaped ones as well. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Definitely the hollow ones. They're rare to come by in the hollow ones. In that creek I work. Yeah, this one's pretty crazy looking. This one has a lot of spots where gold could hide. break this one open next video this one's nuts That rock looks so weird. It has a vein going through it. And then it looks like druzy, druzy pockets. Wow, that's heaven, heavenly iron stained. some big ones I'm about the size of a baseball this one's perfect
Oh wow, that cleaned up nice. That's why I call it the take some, <laughs> or take everything and then some. Rip the whole top layer off. Wow. This is an interesting piece. What do you guys think about that one? That's a pretty one. That is super weird. There's like a metallic luster in there. Hmm. You never know what you're going to get with these things. Surprise every time. Very interesting. Some really pretty quartz in there. This is one of my favorite ones. It's super dark in color, really light. You know, the good ones, hollow walls. Some of these walls are seriously like, are less than a quarter of an inch. It's crazy. going to be a closed concretion but there's a little pocket of quartz in there
one's pretty neat. They're all so different. It makes them so cool. It's like a duck head. <laughs> Bunch of little baby ones. I see you. <laughs> this one's neat. There's a dark one. Just the cracks on them are super cool. And the swirls, this, this used to have a rock around it, but it rolled down the creek so much, it just busted off and it left just the hard quartz outside. And if you get lucky, you'll find one without as much min mineralization inside. And it's which is called the geode. Check this one out. I think a glacier just slid by and just took that right out. Look at that. Perfect cuts. Or it was wedged in a crack. I, might, I may have pulled this out of a crack. Who knows? This stuff is heavy and it sticks with the gold. This is pretty neat. This is that green stone. It's super flat. It may have been a tool at one time. Hmm. I don't see any marks of workmanship though. It looks like a natural chip. This one didn't look that good inside. There's way better ones. Here's a big old ugly thing. I'm not sure what gemstone that is, but it's big. Real big in there. You guys let me know.
And there's a hole in this one. Some more greenstone. Wow, look at the colors on this. Very interesting. This is pretty cool. What is this? Almost reminds me of a tooth, like tooth material. Crazy swirls on here. Hematite? Nice mud and clay stuck on here. heavy. It looks like it got melted in a volcano.
magma. Holy smokes. Look at that craziness. Found this guy today. My collection super heavy. I think this might be magnetite. Let's see if I have a magnet. I gotta look into that. that I'm going to clean tonight. Let's see what we got going on in here. This is going to be very interesting. Watch there be nothing. Oh, I see a little bit of material. Cool. Camera. Let's see what we got. We're just gonna flip it back. Surprisingly, there's a good amount of black sands. I'm gonna take a look at this under a light. Yep, there's just a bunch of flower gold in there that I can't capture because it's too small. It's like microscopic. But I will pour out the gold and uh, yeah, see what all came out of the equipment and the rocks today. Now it's an appropriate time to use the black pan.
obviously there's enough jet dry in there if you don't see the bubbles. So I'm gonna pat the bottom on the pan, make all the gold go down. Get rid of some water. I usually use the same, wa same amount of water as material. That's what I do. Sometimes, but. All right, there it is, guys. Look at all that gold. There it is, guys. Look at that. Look at all that gold. And look at that huge piece down there. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and uh, we'll get a closer look. There it is. It's a nice pile. Just for cleaning up equipment. And a pile of uh, cons. Missouri Glacier Gold. It's unbelievable. Look at the quality of this gold. It's 22 carat from Canada. that's it guys thanks for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i am going to be buying some pay dirt and giving away some gold nuggets and who doesn't like free gold all you got to do is just subscribe to my channel and my online store is about to open as well it's called midwestmineralmarket.com so everything i pretty much use today is on my store and a lot more is being added so stay tuned and uh, i will see you on the next adventure